This meeting is being recorded. Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is to all of you and welcome to the March 20th episode of the Kubernetes Contributor Summit EU 2023 staff meeting. On today's agenda, what do we got on today's agenda? Let's go look, we're gonna go over to the notes. I'm gonna paste the notes into the Slack channel one more time. And if you have not put your name in there or your name has not been put in there for you, please go do so. Uh, also a reminder that we uh, are a CNCF meeting and therefore we abide by the CNCF code of conduct, which means be excellent human beings to each other. So getting started, um, major updates of the whole project. We don't have any this week uh, because we have a bunch of stuff in flight. We have the CFP open. We have the, uh, we're going to get around to all of them, but we got the CFP open. We got the unconference issue open. Uh, we've got reg open. Uh, there might be other things in flight that I'm missing at the moment because it's Monday morning. Uh, so let's get into it. CNCF updates from Brienne. Is Brienne on the call or are you out? Oh, you're still here. Yay. All right. So yes, a reminder, I will be out starting Wednesday uh, through next Wednesday. So Deb will be covering during that time. If you need anything, please ping her or send her a message. Um, I will have very limited access to email or Slack. Um, general session space, I got some bad news. Unfortunately, the system that they have that can convert the chairs from theater style to classroom style is not working. So they're only able to set it as theater. So theater it is. <laughs> it's we weird that that's a space. system. <laughs> Um, and questions I do have are regarding the celebration. It is signed. We will be at the beach club, beach house, whatever they call it, beach something at Strand Zewood. It is from 6 to 8 p.m. Um, it's basically a five minute walk from the Rye. It's like right, right next to it. Nice and easy. Um, and a few questions I have are one, do we need AV use of the house speakers, a sound system or mics? And are there any special activities planned that I need to consider or take into account? So uh, if you could let me know those whenever I'm back or this week, that's perfect. That's really all I need. Okay, we'll have, uh, we'll, we'll open a group chat between you, me, Deb and Xander. Perfect. Most cool. probably we will need at least um, just mic and sound system access for the activities. But there's usually an MC of some form and some music. Yeah, so we are able oh, yes. to use their like house speakers to play music, and that's free of charge. Um, if we want to add mics or anything like that, it's an additional cost. So I didn't want to add them on if we didn't need them, but if we do need them, then I will add them on. No, oh, there's Xander. Oh. Oh, perfect. perfect timing. <laughs> the release meeting only went 11 minutes. This is the Monday burn down meetings are really quiet usually in comparison to the Wednesday meeting. So I, I'm here. Hi. Um, is, is it my turn? Please. Uh, so we were just talking with Brienne uh, and we need to know a little bit more about what we're going to do at the, we're kind of going out of turn now, but that's okay. Uh, what we're going to do at the celebration for terms of AV speakers, do we need mics? Uh, what are the activities that we have planned that we might need fixtures for? I think um, if if we have mics and AV, like not V, if we have mics and, and A, great. Um, certainly not a requirement, I don't think. The activities that I have planned are, um, jigsaw puzzles and and a uh, crossword so the main thing that would be very beneficial to have is tables which i assume the the i know the the last menu didn't have tables but if i recall this one did um so that's really i think the only requirement we're not going to do trivia or or anything like that this time that would require a full ab setup okay okay so we might want, I mean, depending on the cost, we might want one mic just so we can do MC yeah. announcement type stuff. But other than that. That can be arranged. <laughs> and then um, Xander, if you have anything that you need me to print um, or would like me to have printed, just let me know and I will take care of that. 
Okay, awesome. I, uh, yeah, I, I will send some stuff to you because there will be some stuff to get printed. Perfect. Sounds good. All right. Yeah, those were the main questions I had for today. Awesome. So it gets both Brienne and while we're on you, Xander, you got anything else for us? Uh, nope, that's pretty much everything. I um, I have the the photo finalized that I'm going to use for the jigsaw puzzles. I, it was going to be the the CNCF, the cloud native landscape, and I understand that that would have been fun, but it also is not suitable for a puzzle. Um, the the dimensions weren't right and everything, so um, I will post the photo that I've landed on in the uh, the chat. <laughs> Is, is that really? It, it is. So a, it does exist. It is a landscape puzzle. That's hmm. wild. It is terrifying. Maybe I'll have a couple made up, but so the the my line of thinking was that like it would be fun if we could actually have something that people could finish in in the you know the two hours mm. and stuff. Um, I have one of the photos from the one of the Fithian friends books of the the characters like on a beach having like a social event together um which i felt was appropriate so that's the one that i think i'm gonna use and and do just uh like a 200 piece puzzle which should be i don't know if people will be able to finish it at the event but close enough like it's that's yeah. doable for a couple people sitting around the table yeah i've tried to do the puzzle cncf landscape puzzles I've tried two or three different vendors and I never managed to make it work. They always looked horrible and terrible. So yeah, no, I can confirm. Yeah, it's, it's brutal. Okay. Um, that's good. Somebody taking notes. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, so we've got jigsaws. We've got that. Maybe if we make some up, we can give them out as prizes or something. The first people that finish the crossword or something, just as a as a novelty. Um, everything else is already covered. Um, what is the food and drink situation at the celebration while we're on it? Yes, so we have. Um... It is set up as stations. So they're kind of like finger foods, but there's gonna be a lot so people can easily make a meal out of it. Um, and there will be a bar open for the full three hours. Okay. Are we doing any like, is there room for us to make like a specialty cocktail for the event? Um, I don't think so. I could ask, but I'm going to guess that um, per QCon rules, that would be not allowed. <laughs> yeah, I'm, we I'm more thinking for like for our sober friends that are coming, if we're not just like, well, you can have soda or water, but there's like a, uh, oh, here's a special them. mocktail we made like for yeah for the celebration yeah, I, can, I can ask the venue i know they have it's a full restaurant and they have a full bar generally so they should be able to make lots of different options um so i can definitely ask mm -hmm. them about that doing like um, virgin mojitos or something uh, yeah. brianne you just mentioned three hours is it three or two now because i think uh in the agenda you wrote six to eight Good catch that is a good question. and i think for detroit we had extended it to three yeah, or we, we had at three yeah because we, we always yeah, got I the feedback that two are short or <laughs> yeah let me double check on what they sent as a proposal um we basically did a copy of what deb had done mm. and i think it was two hours but i can probably extend it to three if needed so That'd let me double check on that. at the two hour ones we always got the feedback that they were too short because people also yeah. like arrive a little bit late sometimes and... yeah so, no that makes sense let me let me double check on that and i'll confirm doubly so because it's right next to the venue if they go back to their hotel to like yeah freshen up and then come back to the event that might take a full hour mm -hmm. yeah easily so Awesome. Thank you for checking on that, Brian. No problem. Yeah, Chris, 
uh, to your point there in the in the chat, I've also yeah I I think it's really cool when we don't put the onus on the folks you know to come up with stuff like well just give me whatever you have or like leave it to like the the bartender or whatever to be like oh yeah I can make something and then it turns out to be not that good but yeah if we actually yeah. put some like thought or effort into it or like there's a lot of good like zero proof like books out now you know I think it would just be a dope like thing for the community if we were like oh hey we got we got this mocktail menu for y'all yeah, and it could be like three like that three is better than zero right like that that's just what I'll say on that front right like the restaurants I've eaten at lately if they have a mocktail menu I order one yeah so I and, and I'm happy to take the lift on that too you know if they're like yes I will come up with some delicious stuff and just give it to them and make sure you yeah. know that we can that we could do it thank you generally most places have the fixings for like Italian soda so something blue would be kind of fun so that's why mm -hmm. I tossed that blueberry mm -hmm. Italian soda in there blue hell yeah and then we'll need a pun committee to name the drinks as well. Yes. <laughs> Just ask, ask Can Taylor we have a spicy Puzzle. drink? Sorry. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Can we have a spicy drink and call it U.S. East One? We'll call it call it hot takes. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that one notary. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> The spiciest drink just labeled that one notary issue. <laughs> Y'all, my blood pressure is still coming down from that. I don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come here to be called out like this. Sorry. We can we can have one as well where if they order Sorry, I should have waited until the recording was over for that one. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. There's a registry one you can't order anymore. Right? Yeah, the registry yeah. one you order yeah. it and nothing, nothing. That's on the menu, there. but it's out of stock for the second yes. to show up. You yeah. you get redirected you, to you another just bar. Get plain no, soda the water. second you order it, you get like <laughs> Justin stands at the bar and just get, <laughs> slaps you. <laughs> Somebody just takes the drink from your hand, walks away. Brings you to a different bar. Perfect. Oh. Okay. Back to <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry for derailing that. My bad. <laughs> no, those are all fun things, and the whole point of the celebration is it's supposed to be fun. <laughs> okay. So, uh, anything else for Brienne and or Xander? Going once, going twice. Thoughts, ideas, more. Working group pun to throw out. Okay. Cool. Moving on. I'm trying to keep this train on the tracks. <laughs> uh, content with Jason. What you got for us, man? Yeah. So uh, got a few more results in the CFP, but we're still only sitting at five right now. So any help that we can get from comms to help highlight that would be greatly appreciated. Um, also, no responses yet on the um, unconference issue, but Again, uh, expect most of those to come in closer to the time anyway. Are we going to do um, are we going to do post-its in addition to the GitHub issue voting? Uh, I would say probably not. Uh, for the last event, we just did the GitHub issue and highlighted that and it made it just one place with emoji votes to make it easy to choose which ones actually made it onto the schedule or not. Otherwise, we have to kind of juggle both, and and that's too much day of, I think. Yeah, okay. and I think we we had a short link to the to the on conference issue, and then had that in the intro um, of like at Detroit that people can still add to the issue, like basically GitHub on their phones. Okay, awesome. Uh, so we're going to have communication this week. Uh, I am behind on updating the site, but I'm going to do that today. Um, so let's go over to comms with Chris right now because we don't want to do any comms today and probably not tomorrow. 
Right. And I know we originally targeted, I think, this week to send out comms about the CFP reminder. Mm -hmm. um, so when do you, like I can send anything at any time, like everything's written. We just got to update it with the right times and dates and stuff. Right. So if if you give me a date, I'll send out reminders and I can do multiple reminders if you want. But it, we just need to know when I think at this point. I mean, I'm Monday, thinking I don't on Friday, Thursday. I don't know. Like, what's the I, best if, you got if things go smoothly today, then I think Wednesday. And okay. if things are still on fire, hopefully nothing's on fire. Fingers crossed. Hopefully nothing's on fire. Um, but if things are on fire through like tomorrow, then we might want to push to so Thursday. One one yeah. FYI, the redirect uh, takes about four days to do a complete rollout. Um, so it, it like any issues probably will not be seen immediately, but gradually over the course of the week. So mm. I, I think we want to avoid Fridays and Mondays just because yes. yeah. those tend to get ignored. But outside mm -hmm. of that, I think it probably wouldn't hurt to send something this week in case it does catch somebody at the same time as the registry stuff's going down and then probably send another one uh, next week. To the, uh, the other thing is at least for like CFP reminders with our audience being mostly the contributors, um, a lot of them aren't impacted directly by the the redirect. It's mostly users, and then those of us involved, like some uh, some Googlers and some folks involved in Keats Infra. So I think it's it's safe to send it out. Like you, I don't suggest sending it out today, but like no. Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. Okay. If okay. if everything is not going well, I'll push till Thursday. Do you want me to split up on conference and CFP and have like the yeah. unconference thing next week? No, uh, because okay. the unconference is already open and we want people to do it. We probably should have mentioned it in the last one, but we just completely flaked on that part. That's, um, yeah, I get it. So let's let's this week. Let's mention both. I swear there was a third thing. Do you remember what the third thing was that I was talking about? <laughs> we have the CFP. CFP. We have on conference tweets. Meet and greet. Meet We're gonna have something about meet and greet. Nothing yeah. has gone out for meet and greet. Yeah, yet, I, I know. Think. That's on me. That, okay, sorry, I didn't. No, it's okay. Like that. That's okay, but that's probably the third thing you were thinking of was meet. It and was. Greet. Thank you. You're awesome. Yeah. Okay, let me find what tab I put the doc in. <laughs> okay. And meet and greet. Okay. We'll do it on Wednesday unless things are on fire. Um, anything else from the comms point of view side of the house? No, I, I'm i working with my shadows. We need to get tweets together for the week of, but okay. it's just I have been swamped, like personally. Um, the registry thing kind of like yep. the icing on the cake for my uh, weeks for the past two weeks. So yeah, now I've got to go play day job for a little bit before I can come back to that. Tweets and toots. And, and toots. toots, yes. And we have a Kate's contributor hacky derm account. It needs content too. Yeah, I'll just good. Say that. And then that'll be that'll be the place to boost on Mastodon. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Anything else for comms? Anybody else? Any questions, comments? Moving on. Mars, how we doing on Reg? We are good. We have 143 registrations. Yes, 143. Wow. Yay. How's our uh, staff numbers? Have we got any of the people that registered as non-staff that should be registered as staff to change the registrations? No, I think we are... We have only 22 people registered as staff, and I went through the list. I think everyone is registered correctly, but I'm not sure. I need to go one, maybe once again. Okay. If you, if you are staff and you haven't registered yet, please register. Awesome. That's all I have to say. And you have my permission to go smack people with a stick if they're registered as the wrong type. <laughs> yes, I will do that. 
Thank I you. am also going to interject here and just forewarn you, we haven't put this out yet. However, we are getting very close to actually selling out on KubeCon. This has not been publicly announced. I'm just letting you know this. So any Great. staff that has not registered, make sure you do so. <laughs> Can I you, have, uh, okay. I have requested that we hold, um, I think I have said 20 to 30 spots for any upcoming speakers. So those have been held and accounted for. Um, if you can think of any additional numbers that I need to have held, please let me know. Um, but yes, this is becoming a very real potential. Uh, can you please drop a note in the Summit staff channel, um, being as subtle or overt about that as you want to be? Sure. <laughs> I can do that. Okay. Um, and lastly, if you're staff and you haven't got your hotel booked yet, you got to go do that right now because almost all the hotels are full. Yes. Like almost completely full. <laughs> like right after this call, go, go book a hotel. Um, moving on. We already did our celebrate with Sander. Uh, moving on to Ops with Frederico. How we doing, man? Uh, either very well or very bad, depending <laughs> on how you look at it. Uh, in the sense that um, I think it's, it's fine. Um, I've been onboarding new volunteers that, have, uh, that, that will be there, and they have expressed their desire to assist. Um, I'm also doing a final uh, round of checking for their on-site status because last time it was still like it's planned but there's visas there's hotels etc so now i'm doing that final confirmation uh and the final part is that i'm actually waiting for to have uh, an agenda in order to be able to map it into rooms etc and this is the part that could be either very normal or bad because maybe this is already exists and it's there and i'm simply not able to find it uh, or it's still work in progress and i'm and and, and well and that's uh, in that case i'm 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 okay so th this is uh, a question is is there i couldn't find anything with like a work in progress uh, agenda etc maybe that would uh, be helpful maybe that exists but i couldn't find it in the, in the chat or in the in the notes I did find the comms uh, uh, status and other information, but not that. Uh, do you have access to the spreadsheet labeled Contribex Planning Doc? Maybe I have. Is it linked anywhere? I do not know. I maybe copy. that's the, yeah. I, I didn't so press it before. It in the agenda, then. <laughs> I, will, I will put that in the agenda right now. Yeah. Um, and maybe we can already start putting like the rough plan from there into sketch and it's less work. <laughs> I think, um, realistically, it comes down to what's going to come out of the CFP in the two tracks of CFP centric, uh, the two rooms that are going to be based on the CFP, because two rooms are going to be based on the, uh, at least two rooms, are going to be based on the unconference. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, we've got, let me go through. We got the general session, which is the theater, and the workshop, which is classroom. And those two are going to be CFP based. Then we've got three meeting rooms which can be used for unconferences and or SIG meetings. And the SIG meetings will, I think, be on the calendar, uh, but the unconferences will probably just be listed as unconference because we won't be deciding until yep. day of. Um, the, the day, yeah. that, that's a good point. Um, can we add the SIG meetings to that notification list, Chris? Mm. Well, yeah, I'll work with Laura on that. Does that make sense? 
Well, there's, well, not the there's six meeting, meeting greet. This is rooms available for, oh, six for the six. Right, 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 right. Sorry, my bad. Sig meetings. Yes, I'll add yes. that. Awesome. And yes, I, I had I had saw this document like two weeks ago, but then I lost track of it and couldn't find the link. So thank you for that. Now you have it again. And yep, as yep, we perfect. as we get this, we're gonna figure out exactly what the times are gonna be because we have all the like, oh, we gotta have five minutes in between so people can move from session to session, etc. Yeah. Etc. Okay. Most of the the planning that you're going to end up doing in like in the spreadsheet that I shared with you early on. Yeah, yeah all, I'm, I'm, that that starts in like a week and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I, I understood I, I got that from the discussion. So that's why I wasn't worried. So I'm, I'm I, in, in that case, we're fine. Awesome. Um make sure that you have while well, I'm thinking of it, make sure that you have at least one person with a loud voice. Uh in the hallways who's okay. willing to shout session start in three minutes <laughs> like... mm -hmm. okay so uh, people around me would say that my normal way of talking is loud enough so awesome. i would add another <laughs> i would add another one uh, but if there's someone else from south europe there we're set if not i'll find someone else <laughs> uh, that also speaks loudly um i, I will have a one-to-one -one meeting with others um to, in order to identify that. Excellent. Okay. Um, I will say as people are talking through in the chat, like, hey, we can all just shout. It is important to have only one or two people doing that at the same time, because if everyone is shouting, no one can hear anyone. Just calling that out. Yes, shame if, them into going to the rooms if possible. If anybody does want my cowbell, I will bring it. You will be able to hear that over everyone. More cowbell. It just, I'm sorry, it'll be branded rack space. It's, That's fine. But still, it's nice and loud and you all will be able to hear it, so. Excellent. Uh, anything else for operations before we move on? Don't want to go twice. Moving on. Uh, Sig meet and greet. Kim and Laura. Uh, not a ton to update, mostly because Kim and I flew back from scale and both of us are still a little mentally catching up to everything. Um, but hopefully starting tomorrow, we will start getting uh, reach out to various places. I will reach out to you, Chris, to work on the comms, adding it to the comm for it. Um, but yeah, I mean, most SIGs already know I'm going to be coming to find them and I will be able to find them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, but if there's anything y'all need in general, just let me know. Um, Kim can't make these calls, so I am being that person standing in. Sending messages to the SIG. We're coming for you. I'm right behind you. <laughs> well, the worst part is, is that there are probably some people I can go find in person and like sneak up. I'm just kidding. I won't actually do that, I promise. Being great. Ah. Innocent. From the shadows. Anyway. Okay, awesome. Uh, so that's underway, being taken care of. And that brings us to the end of the agenda. A section labeled, anything else? Where's the, SIG meeting, where's the SIG meeting sign up form? I don't think I have a link to that. Or if I do, I lost it. SIG meeting or SIG meet and greet? SIG meeting. Like where okay. would folks sign up? Like where am I sending those folks to do? Are they doing it through the CFP, Jason? So uh, they can either do it through the CFP or they can uh, reach out to us uh, in the okay. uh, in the uh, uh, contributor summit channel and redirect them to me or one of uh, my shadows and we can uh, get them on the uh, schedule. Got it. Awesome. Oh, we have four weeks. By the end of next week, the CFP will be ready to close and we will be in full all hands on deck mode. So be ready for it. It is going to ramp up in a week and a half, two weeks. We're going to be ramping up to full speed. So thank you all, as always, once again. 
You are all doing a wonderful job. I thank you all for your help. And I will talk to you all in the Slack channel or in a week. Bye, everyone. Yeah, cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.